Hello. Test, test. Hello, hello, test, test, test. Hello and welcome everyone to the 2020 SA Super League Grand Finals. Coming live and direct here from the picturesque Salisbury Bowling Club in South Australia. Bowls SA acknowledges the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today and respects their elders past and present and extend that respect to other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who are present today. We have a big night of proceedings ahead of us today as we are moments away from the beginning of the under 21 grand final between the Mallee Pirates and the Western Rogues, as well as the reserves grand final between the South Eastern Spartans and the Northern Knights. That will, of course, be followed by the main event with the 2020 SA Super League grand final as the minor premiers, the Western Rogues, look to dethrone the 2019 champions, Central Chargers. Before we get to the official proceedings, I'd firstly like to acknowledge dignitaries in attendance tonight. As I'm concerned, this is a fabulous club. It's been part of our community for a long, long time. And good luck, everyone, and I'll look forward to maybe congratulating you all a bit later on. Thank you. Thank you, Gillian, and thank you to the City of Salisbury. All right, without further delay, as we said, we have an action-packed card of Lawn Bowls talent to get to, starting with the under-21 grand final, and it is my pleasure to introduce the two competing teams this evening. The team to my right, the Mallee Pirates, have a squad consisting of Emily Evers, Ben Massey, and the two players representing the team tonight, Cameron Hill and Cody Letton. A round of applause for the Mallee Pirates. The team will be coached by John Morris this evening. And their opponents to my left, the Western Rogues, who have a squad consisting of Amber Walker, Danielle Van Dyke, Faith Skulls, and the two players representing the team tonight, Evie Exton and Harrison Gita Johnson. The team will be coached by their panel, which consists of Wilson Golby and Ashley Close. Good luck to both teams in the under-21 SA Super League Grand Final. And starting at the same time alongside that, we also have the SA Super League Reserves Competition. And again, again, it's my pleasure to introduce the two competing teams this evening. So the team to my right, the South Eastern Spartans. Tonight, representing them to their team. In the singles, Kevin Stock. In the pairs, James Mader and David O'Shaughnessy. And in the triples, Adam Black, Carly Moffat, and Jackie Field. Give it up for the Spartans, please. Their team will be to please stand and remove their hat for the Australian national anthem. Thank you, everybody. Okay, players, you can please uh, shake hands or knuckle bump and head to your rinks, and uh, you can quickly have uh, one, more, one more minute of practice if you desire before we uh, get the matches underway in a couple of minutes. Thank you and good luck.
Yeah, right there. Yeah, not not my first rodeo, man. <laughs> Two second. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Salisbury Bowling Club here. Lovely Friday evening. Joe Schwab from Bowls SA leading you through tonight's broadcast. And alongside me, Isaac Trenorden. Zach, we're back together again, mate, and it's a huge night of bowls ahead. Absolutely, mate. What a cracker. Weather's uh, very good. A little bit of wind, but, yeah, we've got the under-21s on screen at the moment. Uh, and, yeah. Pretty keen for this one. It's going to be an absolute ripper. The youngsters, they're already uh, a few rice smiles with the cameras all over them. <laughs> so they are ready to go. Absolutely. You'd froth, froth a game like this. I think they're all they're all <laughs> under 18. So, um, yeah, which is even impressive in itself. Um, and, yeah. Can you imagine that at that age? Just oh. get it, getting filmed, playing mate. bowls, literally going worldwide to anyone out there can watch oh, it. It's pretty special. Be, mate, I'd be... I'd be a nervous wreck. I reckon my first one go about halfway up the green. <laughs> well, we've got Cody Letton here getting things underway for the Mallee Pirates. Of course, we've got the Mallee Pirates taking on the Western Rogues. The Pirates, uh, they made it through the semi last week. The Rogues, they did it the hard way, came through the elimination final and the prelim. But they're here at the big dance. Cody Letton with a good start. For the Rogues, we've got Evie Exton. Of course, she featured on a bit of commentary earlier this year as well. She's going to go on the backhand side. Then the skips for the two sides. We've got the Pirates, Cameron Hill. Of course, the Riverland combination there for the Pirates. And Harrison Gita Johnson, of course, a well-known name in South Australia bowls. You're the, uh, I guess, the junior bowls expert here in South Australia. Your thoughts on how this contest sets up? Mate, this is going to be, I reckon, one of the games of the year, without a doubt, for the juniors. Um, I think they match up very well. Um, a little bit um, of experience. I think their experience pretty well is matched. Everyone's about the same. Um, yeah, only a 
handful of years of bowls under their belt. So, yeah, definitely in for an absolute cracker. Of course, great chance to be featuring the under-21s. We also have the reserves grand final going up behind us. We'll run you through those sides very shortly. And the big game of the night, the big league grand final. We'll see the Rogues featuring again. They'll take on the Chargers. But that's still that that's still to come. We're going to focus on this one early. Of course, if you're out and about tonight or just at home looking for something to do, it's a lovely Friday evening. Get down here to the Salisbury Bowling Club. You will not be disappointed, ladies and gentlemen. It is well and truly worth your time. There's food, there's drinks, there's plenty of seating. There's everything you need for a night of bowls. As Evie comes down this way. Goes to the backhand side again. She's holding shot here. Drawn in another nice one there. What a fantastic opening set there from Evie for the Rogues. Uh, looks like, yeah, definitely one, but giving um, Harry for the Rogues a very good opportunity to, to make a good number here. Good consistent bowls, um, especially on the first end. While the uh, while the skips just go down and gather their thoughts of the reserves grand final happening behind us, which we will keep you up to date with as often as possible. The Southeastern Spartans taking on the Northern Knights. We'll let young Cameron Hill get his first one away here. We'll run you through the the team lineups for those two reserves teams. Hill going with the backhand side as well. And for those just wondering uh, that might have watched a bit of other Super League action, the under 21s is just the one rink. There's no overall scores or anything like that. It's just the the one pairs contest as Cameron just shifts the kitty there. So all our focus is going to be on these on these four young, talented youngsters for the next couple of hours. As you might have heard there from EVX in the wake, good from young Gita Johnson. The um, yeah, so you got Harry Gita Johnson in the under 21 singles, uh, sorry pairs now, and then we've got um, later tonight his dad is playing as well. So we got Simon Gita Johnson. It's a family um, affair. Yeah, playing for the Rogues tonight, which will be another cracker. Yep. And just on Cameron Hill, his father Andrew did feature in the first couple of years of the SA Super League for the Pirates. So. It's just a family affair all around, which is great. And it just sums up what the sport of bowls is all about. It's for all ages, all sizes. Anyone that wants to have a crack, it's worth getting involved. Gita Johnson just narrow again that time. Having a bit of trouble. Not the easiest when you first roll the match is uh, when the jack's off center. Absolutely. What can Young Hill do here? Just runs into Lettles bowl at the front there. He's holding one. It's, a, it's going to be interesting to see where the shots go on this end. Comes in the forehand side here. He's given this one a better chance, Joe. A uh, better track, but he looks like he's just quick, unfortunately. Ooh. Not much. Not, not yeah, not a terrible result in the end. As we wait to see them... Just a side of the shots here. I reckon it'll be at least one to the Pirates, you'd have to think. Might see a measure early, I reckon. And we do. Love a good measure. <laughs> Generally takes them a few extra seconds for the juniors to pull the measure out. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's a little bit awkward or a bit shy, but yeah, normally does, yeah. <laughs> a couple extra seconds compared to the, uh, the adults. And I think especially with the cameras on them as well. Cody's technique is being analysed to the nth degree here. <laughs> Not what he'd be used to. But as we've said, great exposure for the youngsters to be playing. So just the one up for the Pirates there. So the Pirates get underway early with the with the positive start. We'll run you through the reserve sides quickly for the for the Spartans. Kevin Stock in the singles. James Maida, David O'Shaughnessy in the pairs. O'Shaughnessy skipping there. Jackie Fearon skipping the triples with Carly Moffat and Adam Black. Uh, for the Knights in the singles, we've got Simon Tudor. Isaac Jesser skipping the pairs with Corinne Lynch. And in the triples, Chris Krasakis, Sue Kultis and Corey Jackson. So plenty of talent there. And two sides that featured heavily as well in the league campaign. So be one that we'll uh, keep a very close eye on as like just sends the uh, sends the jack long there so Evie's gonna have a chance bringing the bat nice and forward here Sorry, 
plenty of support in the background, which is great to see. The Riverland contend contingent have made the trip down, all Cody <laughs> and uh, Cameron's families, which is great. And there's plenty of uh, plenty of green and yellow with the rogues as well, which is awesome to see. It's going to be a great night. As we said earlier, get down here, folks. You will not be disappointed. As Evie finds a spot here. So what can what can Cody do? That Just came out as smooth as it could possibly <laughs> come out, Joe. That did not wobble one bit. It's exactly what we want to see from the juniors. Looks and like he's started pretty well here. What a cracker. <laughs> oh, look at that. Gets a well-deserved round of applause there. That's awesome. That's a start and a half. Just as you said, smooth out. So, obviously, you're involved with the state under-18 boys. Uh, all three of these young lads, do they feature in the squad at the moment? Yes, they sure do. Um, yep, all three of them are in the squad. I reckon... Um, Two out of the three are in the gold squad, and I think Cody is in yep. the silver squad from yep. memory. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's probably not too far away from from cracking that gold squad either. A bit newer, newer to the sport, as far as I'm aware. Another one. No, oh. <laughs> not a bad spot to be. The line is absolutely spot on there. Perfectly bowls there, Joe. One on, one behind, mate. You can't do it much better than that. He's making sure the skipper can't be too grumpy with him <laughs> after giving the jack away. He said, oh, I better make up for it here. Evie looks like she's corrected quite well here. Looks like she's going to take a bit of jack. Done well there. Awesome from Evie. Made a good correction. The first one, obviously, going six or eight feet short. So that's what we like to see. The second one follow up. Nice uh, positive draw through the head. And, yeah, obviously got a nice reward there as well. What can Cody do? Of course, getting used to the uh, TV rig with the barricades on the side, <laughs> where they might take a little bit of uh, confidence after a while to throw them out a little bit wider when the jack's off centre. But again, the line wasn't terrible, just that bit short, though. Evie just going out on the forehand side here. Looks like it's tracking not too bad again. Awesome. Harrison's happy with it, and he should be. The Rogues holding shot at the moment as we ch as they uh, change over here in the second end. Nice high five there. It's just great to see the youngsters. Just the Mate. energy watching them is just so absolutely, good. I absolutely love it. It is absolutely per perfect curtain raiser for the league grand <laughs> final tonight. You could not ask for more. Good to see the uh, under-21s on the stream as well, I reckon, yep. Joe. We um, I think as the Bowls SA team, we sort of ummed and ahed on the... Do we play the reserves and feature one rink, or do we do we go and watch the the under 21s and see some junior action? I, I personally, I'm a big fan of the juniors, <laughs> junior yeah. action. So, yeah, definitely, I think it was a good decision to go with the under 21s. You were advocating for it, struggle in the office during the week, <laughs> and you were very happy when Maddie let gotta us get, know. Got to get the under 18 squad on the TV, <laughs> mate. Got to get them in the pressure. Make sure you let us know where you're watching from as well. Love to hear. Your thoughts on the contest tonight? Who your tip for this game is, the reserves game, or even the league game? Let us know your thoughts. We'd love to hear from the community out there. As Harrison probably just locks that one in almost for a second. It's going to be close. Hill's got a bit of work to do here. So we see, we know how important the early stages are. It's hard to win a game in the first few ends, but you can definitely lose it. He'll, oh, he looks like he's found the gap here straight through the middle. Do you know what I love about watching um, Cameron Hill play Joes? He's never afraid to, to yep. reach the head, like, as we saw there. Uh, he did send that one through to the ditch, but um, I think we'll see that a lot tonight. He doesn't mind. Um, if there are some close bowls, definitely just likes to get in there, um, move a few bowls around and, and see what happens. Confidence is fantastic, yeah. as Gita Jolter just sends his through as well. Yeah, for, for youngsters, they're just, they're cool, calm and collected from what I've seen of them uh, so far this season. And here on the TV rink early, as you see us there in the sideline in the commentary box again, wrapping up a fantastic SA Super League season. A real credit to everyone involved, all, all stakeholders. Just like 2020 has been as a year. It's been a tough one, but everyone's come together fantastically. And here we are, the night of nights. Oh. Looks like he's got a carbon copy of his last one, unfortunately. I like that, though. He did He did ask, then he, he asked the lead, can I uh, try to put the jack in the ditch? And he 
I'm not sure he wasn't too much confident, <laughs> too much confidence from the lead, but um, he did did go for it again. I, I, I like to see it. That's what we love to hear. Keita Johnson, just see what he can do. We'll see what the shots end up being this time around. Taking the shot ball out. It's going to be at least one of the roads. Oh, two measured in two ends. Look <laughs> out. Could we be on track for some sort of record early? Nice to see as well, Joe, as we just had a quick scope around the grounds. There's quite a few um, other juniors who have come out to, to cheer on their fellow squad members and friends, which is awesome to see. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a real family, the Bulls, the Bulls community. And they're all sticking together. And why wouldn't you want to come out here? The lovely Salisbury Bowling Club on a Friday night. I'll tell you what, no Ooh. better place to be. Here we uh, go, close. Yep. No, I think they're just waiting for a bit of a clarification on this one. Good work. Good decision. The uh, measure looked awfully closely there. Just while we've got a chance, we'll give our sponsors a fantastic shout out. City of Salisbury, of course. Where else would you want to be on a Friday evening? Sports Centre as well for all your apparel needs and West End. Great. Really great. Their, their support that they give the SA Super League and just bowls in general here in South Australia. Of course, for those on the stream earlier, we did see the uh, great shot of the trophies over there. A little pet project of yours, making sure they had the ribbons on there. Mate, I've never seen trophies look that good in my life. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think the ribbons large. Generally, think the rib ribbons are a pretty good um, addition. And as we see there, look at that big oh. uh, <laughs> league cup. What <laughs> that, a monster! That is up there. <laughs> I don't know if we need to put something next to it just for context, because it's hard. Because you're you not quite sure how big out. the other uh, <laughs> other trophies are. But the other trophies are still a great size. They That's just it. look next to the big one. I reckon comparatively, that would be similar to size to the AFL Cup. Would you agree, Joe? Well, and I think I think when you throw the uh, you throw the stand in there on the bottom as well, what, what more? Like it's just, it's a monster, and it, it's a, we've had mixed reactions from it as well. Some people <laughs> are have, a fan, some people not quite so much. What are you, Joe? A fan? I'm a fan. The bigger oh, the better for a trophy. Can't say I won too many trophies in my time, so <laughs> when the time does come, I'd love a big piece of silverware like that. Yes, absolutely. As we see the umpire in here. But uh, Joan Prosser is the umpire tonight, so... Couldn't ask for much better, really, could you? Nope. I think that's about <laughs> as seasoned professional that you can get. Uh, and that's going to be one shot to the Rogues there. I reckon. Yeah, one shot to the Rogues. So, scores level after two ends. Low scoring affair. Both teams just feeling each other out early been two pretty good tight ends as well joe yep. like to see that you caught you did call it early you said we're on for a good contest i'm impressed if it was <laughs> me i would have spooned my first three because i'd have been so nervous this many cameras yeah like you said the barricades down the side the sponsors logo this much of a crowd would have slid it just probably would have thrown a couple of pies down oh, to be mate, honest without a doubt <laughs> but no two very very good ends from these juniors which is exactly what we want to see with oh. evie's first one just short of the jack there but still not a bad not a bad first bowl got plenty of uh, plenty of comments on the stream already we'll just watch this work. first one from cody it's just so smooth his delivery oh. action isn't it wow Give this one a bit of width on the forehand side. If it's, see if it's got the legs on it. Oh, it's tracking. It wants to get there, but it's just going to fall a little bit short. Here we go on the backhand side again. She's like that side so far. She's just, uh, just tucked that one in alongside the first one. Of course, they're just getting used to having the cameras all around them as well. Got to know the right positions to stand as Cody comes up with another one. See me adjust. Make the adjustment here. Looks like this one's got a bit more legs on it. Looks like, oh, it could almost take a bit of kitty here. Oh, 
Might have to call for slicker on that one. I tell you what, that was close. Yeah, we need the hot spot. <laughs> we do need we hot spot. Last week. <laughs> Might have to put oh. a request in for David and the crew for next season if we can. Oh, <laughs> tell you what. So close. We'll put a request in for hot spot and slicker for next year. Evie just once again got to the forehead side that time and just corrected beautifully. Real display. If Cody can just find that middle ground from his first two, he'll be right on the money here. Doesn't give a lot away with the old facial expressions, Cody. A very reserved kid. Give this one a bit of width. But as we said last week, nothing wrong with being behind the jack. Absolutely, yeah. Pretty solid bowl there. Um, especially the Rogues, if, if Harry can draw another close one, gives um, Cameron Hill a lot of options behind the jack. Um, and like we said earlier, uh, definitely not afraid to, to play a bit of weight, which is yeah, awesome to see. Quick shout out to Amanda Hill, the Hill family and cousins supporting from the Riverland. Great to hear. Simon Wallace, the league final kicks off. We're hoping for about quarter past eight, 8.30, depending on uh, presentations, of course, for these these games, under 21s and reserves, which will follow straight away. Glenn from Aberdeen, New South Wales, watching. John Fisher, Yankalilla. Chris Owen, watching from Essex in the UK. Missing bowling during COVID. Hopefully you're doing okay over there, Chris. Justine Exton, giving Evie a bit of support. Maxi Kleining, a man that we'll uh, see a bit from later this evening, getting behind the rogues. And a few more uh, Riverland watches as well there. The Riverland is getting behind their own. As Cameron just went close there. Also, uh, Joe, we've got the the full village of Clarendon watching oh. tonight. They say they are enjoying it. Big fans of the commentary as well. Interesting part of the world. There's some interesting <laughs> characters out there. Lovely part of the world. The bakery, if you're looking for a good feed on a weekend or just cruising through there. Great little community. All through there, Clarendon, Kangarilla Meadows little bit biased but great part of the world as Cameron Hill steps up again great shots there Joe watching it the whole way far down. away if he can get under that one oh it wants to oh again just the uh, the impact as we, it's a game of millimeters great replay you're right if that could have snuck under there it would have been right on track for that front one great shot here of Harrison's bowl again looks like he's going to have the same issue running to the one in the front there wouldn't mind seeing a bit more a bit more positivity from Cameron here uh, he's got everything passed nothing really to lose he's got his two bowls um, as second would he's got second and third so from a coaching point of view you, like what are you sort of hoping he does in this situation well, I've liked his, he's asked the question there to his lead. And it, yeah, here we go. Seen a bit of weight, which is, yeah. He's practicing him earlier. Oh, what's he going to come up with here? Bit of a, oh. bit of double oh. impact, but just not quite. Not quite that we're going to hope for. So that's going to be one shot to the Rogues again. The Pirates threatening around the outside, but the Rogues with the close oh. one. What's he going to come up with here? Bit of a, just again, the deflections. So the Rogues, they take a 2-1 lead. After, th after three ends. Uh, Andy Grant, the reserves game will not be broadcast directly, but we will keep you up to date with the scores as we go. We've, we've found another country to visit, Isaac. We've got Peter Van der Vaart. Uh, Van de Sorry, I apologise for butchering that. Watching from the Netherlands. That's, there we go. It's another one to scratch off the map. I wonder if we can... What did we get to last week? I reckon it was about eight or nine. Oh, I reckon we just about had every continent besides <laughs> uh, Antarctica covered. <laughs> As Evie just sent that first roll of the Jack Long, so Cody's going to have a crack. We've seen that a lot, actually, Joe, in this uh, tournament, um, especially on this rink, the, yep. the live stream rink each week out here at Salisbury. Um, yeah, rolling the Jack seems to be one of the hardest parts um, of playing on this rink. Seeing a lot of... A lot of um, players even in the in the uh, league teams putting the jack in the ditch as well so happens to the best of us 
Evie uh, not a bad start from Evie there. Yeah, fantastic start again. Nicely behind the jack. No show of emotion either. Just one lose, one lose <laughs> back off the mat. Another day in the life. Another. Like, just, uh, just another another bowl. <laughs> just another bowl for these incredibly talented kids. Cody, he's sticking with the near side here. Go on the backhand. Ah, oh, if he can get that trip. The line looked good, but if he just needed a bit more legs on that one. Sticking with the back heel again. Just looking to correct that one. Great overall shot there. Oh, if he can get underneath his first one, oh. it might be okay. Well played. Feel the gap there again. The line is spot on. Great reception there from the Pirates supporter crew. Fantastic correction as well from, from Cody there. And that's the best you can hope for from these kids. It's, it's all a learning experience. They're still very early in their, their bowls journey. Evie's done well there once again. Oh, just snuck it under. Oh, it stayed up. So probably a measure for shot just to start with. Don't mind this one, Joe. If he can turn hard Ooh. towards the end. Oh, he's not going to turn enough, but uh, I like it. It's, it's reached the head, and he, he, they definitely needed one pass. And yeah, Yep, he's on fantastic. the front of that one there. Oh, look at that, the big grins. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I think out of uh, all four of these players, Harrison would be the one who enjoys this stage the most. <laughs> Bit of a personality. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Very funny kid, I can tell you that much. <laughs> very, very funny. Well, he's got the backhand side as well. Just hoping to draw underneath Exton's bowl there. It looks like he's on track to him. It has the legs. Oh, just didn't quite have it in the end. Don't mind it though, mate. Another one around the head. Yeah. Um, puts the, I guess the pressure's almost back on the Pirates now. Only one bowl in the head. Makes things harder. What's he going to do here? Oh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it was probably due for a bit of a nicer deflection, but <laughs> again, still very close for shot there. Not too far away again. Probably just needs to turn. Doesn't seem to be turning in a heap from wide at the moment. Bit of a swirly breeze early. Again, consistency though is just outstanding. He's going to go have a look at this one. He, he shadowed that one down. And speaking of shadows and players that like to uh, follow their <laughs> bowls all the way down, the great man Kyle Chappelle will be uh, featuring on the TV rink in the league grand final a little bit later on. How much fun is that going to be, Joe? It was, oh. a, it was a good amount of energy last week for the, or was it the semi-final? Semi-final, yep. So we'll I have can to only uh, imagine the uh, the dial will just be turned up just a little bit more, a few more nerves for the grand final tonight. We'll have to make sure we have the uh, third microphone on standby <laughs> for when Ash Close decides to join us in the box as well. Mid game, of course, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine his personality will go down any notches in the uh, no. in a game like a grand final. I, no, I'm not seeing that either. <laughs> we'll, we'll run you through the uh, league grand final matchups in a minute when we get a chance. Just left that oh, one in a little bit. Yeah, so for, short. For, oh, it's uh, it's touch and go here for shot bowl. Yeah, tough. Good call from Cody. Got, getting him to change hands. I like that. Wasn't. Yeah, no real options down on that backhand. So he's going to throw it out that far side. What could he come up with here, Cameron Hill? Oh, needs it to swoop in. Just a little bit heavy there. I think we could almost be on for our third measure in four ends, to be honest. <laughs> oh, yep, he's gone, gone in the, the pocket. pocket. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. There we go. What a shot. It's 
it's going to be a close one. Of course, the, the uh, two sides just trading one shot each through the first three. So interesting again. So it's going to be one up. One up to the Rogues there. So the Rogues, they take a three, one lead after four ends. But again, just the one shot at a time going slowly, slowly. Give a quick shout out. More with the I think the whole Riverland's almost on the stream at the moment. <laughs> Isaac, Lockie Winnell at 5RM there. The radio station up in the Riverland. He shared the stream and oh, wonderful. getting behind the boys, which is great to hear. Of course, anyone out there, you feel free to share the stream. We want to get this to as many people watch as we can watching this outstanding level of bowls. You're a, um, an operator up in the Riverland up until very recently, Joe. Yep have come down from there to take the job with Bowls SA. So I know, know these boys, know the Latin and Hill families, both incredibly talented families and well-known names across multiple sports in the Riverland. The Hill, the Hills in particular, obviously with Bowls and Cody Letton's making a name for himself very quickly, yeah, as you can see point. there. What a cracker. First bowl for Cody Letton there. Outstanding. Maybe just leave that one a bit narrow. But again, the weight is just about spot on. Probably one of the more unique um, bowls action from Cody. Um, look, he still gets him away smooths, but um, yeah, he sort of has the the double double take he steps out and then has yep. the backswing whereas you see yeah uh, probably more commonly it's all generally one movement was that bradley peck is that a similar action to him takes that real that lunge first and yes. then delivers yep. yes yep for the for the chargers who we might say well we'd be playing in the triples i believe or, no, no, playing in the pairs, the the pairs. it's hard to keep track of the Chargers. <laughs> what they're doing with their team lineup and they've changed it all over again this week we'll run you through it when the uh skips the lead swap over after these couple of bowls cody looking for another one here see what he can do give this one a bit of width but again if it can come around out the back not a terrible option there he's done pretty well yeah no i actually i like those three bowls from from cody one on two behind so um putting in that good amount of security for the Pirates we'll run you through the league grand final matchups as we said hoping to kick off about 8 15 8 30 uh, on the tv rank depending on the presentations for this game and the reserves games for the rogues they've stayed the same as their victorious semi-final side from last week simon gita johnson in the singles just getting the job done ash close and carl chappelle in the pairs which will be the game that will be featured here on the tv rink so they'll love that Two great characters. Ash will love a bit more camera time. And uh, the triples, Max Kleining skipping that line with Josh Stardom, Jaden Zeller. Great line up there. The charges, on the other hand, as we just watch this one from Cameron Hill, I'll leave you in a bit more suspense as to what the charges have done with their lineup. We saw him with two completely different lineups last week as Cameron Hill just draws in a lovely bowl here. Just uh, outstanding stuff there. So the Chargers have come up with another lineup again. To, uh, speaking to their coach, TJ Saunders, during the week, he said, we want to give our best bowlers the most bowls, which is a great philosophy. And Craig Mills in the singles as a result. So that's going to be an outstanding match behind us. Two class players there in the pairs, as we said, which will be featured on this rink. Mark Haynes and Bradley Peck for the Chargers. And then in the triples, Ben Bowman will skip that one. Brenton Bain and Bailey Rafferty. So a new look Chargers side, but... They've lost to the Rogues a couple of times, so need to mix it up. Oh, as Gita Johnson comes in with a lovely bowl there, you'll give him a little clap on that one. Yeah, no, I do. I like that. That was very good. Probably a little bit stiff, but he couldn't get the jack right in the centre, but awesome bowl nonetheless. Cameron Hill looking to come up with a reply of his own here. Wanting to, uh, wanting to get back on the scoreboard. They scored one shot in the first end, but it's been three lots of ones lately for the Rogues. A 
like this. He's asking uh, backhand drive is his request. Looks like he's lining up for it. Here we go. Get the high speed ready. Oh, it's taken a couple out. Not the ones he would have been hoping for. But again, not a bad effort. Like you said earlier, just the courage to go for those sorts of shots is just awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, didn't have too much to lose. He had everything back. There was another bowl that's probably been off the screen, which is, is right down near the ditch. So, Oh, oh Cameron's going to draw in another one oh, here. what a ripper. Like definitely that's going to be uh, two uh, yep two up for the pirates so scores back to level three apiece after five ends it's what we love to see another um another bit of family there joe as we see lloyd Gita johnson flicking over the scoreboard there yep so we've got three gen three generations actually tonight it's outstanding. And of course, uh, the VM that skips around at the moment, you might be able to catch a quick glimpse of uh, Simon Gita Johnson in the background. He's been having a, a couple of words to young Harrison. Letting with that trademark smooth action. Pretty good start again from Cody Ledden for the Pirates. A little bit short, but very close. There'll be plenty outside of that. Interesting here, Joe. We've got Evie's switched hands. I thought she was actually going pretty good on that other hand, but yeah, here we go. Just mixing it up a bit. Again, the weight's there. Just, just that, just that whip. If she can get that line right. Again, just. Steal the eye look of determination. None of, none of these kids are giving too much away. Yeah. Yep. This one looks closer for the Rogues. She can miss the front. Ooh, well. just a bit of contact there. So Letton still just holding shot to start with. Pretty close. A little bit of, a little bit of speed, but... Oh, not a bad <laughs> deflection. Yeah, well played. <laughs> as we spoke about multiple times last week, when it's the luck's going your way, you've got to ride it as long as you can. <laughs> as long as this one reaches for the rogues, as long as this one's past the jack, I think you, you can only be happy. She'll just sneak it under, a, yep. under that one there. Well played. Anything behind the jack there was going to be beneficial. So, um, yeah, very good bowl. Nice. Might see if you can uh, take a bit of a peek over your shoulder there, Isaac. Get us a bit of an update on the reserve scores, if possible. I reckon we can, mate. So it looks like we've got the pairs. Uh, the Knights are up 3-2 in the triples. The Spartans are up 7-1. And for the singles, uh, we're just getting the scoreboard flipped over now. But it looks like it is... 7-10, the Spartans' way. So. Okay, so some interesting results as Hill just draws one in nicely there. Okay, to jump to look at the reply. As we see, though, all, all the uh, all the Pirates' bowls are pretty much in front of the jack here. So, Gator Johnson hasn't been able to use it that one, but there's still a bit for him to work with a bit later on. Would love to see a toucher here from Cameron Hill. Just put that jack away and... Um, yeah, make it real tough for the Rogues. Just line a little bit off. He might, he's going to cop a bit of a deflection again there <laughs> <laughs> and get that one into place. And then now they've got a couple behind the jack. Yeah, don't mind that, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> look, probably a little bit lucky, but <laughs> hey. definitely makes it hard for the Rogues now. Or harder. Ooh. 
What can Keita Johnson do, though? It looks all right to start with. Oh, I, I reckon it might. It, it's still one to the Pirates, but Harrison's just come in and done very well, though. He's reduced the damage, that's for sure. Cameron's giving this one some width and some weight. Not turning too much no. down that hand, hey Joe. But again, it's out, it's out the back there, so depending on what Gerda yeah. Johnson will have a crack out here with his shot. Look at that, lovely. The deflections, they fall both ways. <laughs> he's given the, he's going to need this one to turn, though. Just for everyone at home, there's a bit of um, breeze coming through. So that hand that they have opted, so that backhand down the commentary box side, yep. um, will be the tighter hand for the night. As we see one shot to the Pirates there. Yep, one shot to the Pirates. They take a 4-3 lead. After how many ends of that, may that would almost be six ends, I reckon, coming back in that direction. So they're making their way through. Just going at once, pretty much. Very <laughs> yeah. low scoring early. Tight again. game is what we want to see. I haven't seen a um, power play yet, Joe, either. Oh, power plays. Now, that's the wild card tonight. Could, a, could we see a power play just uh, possibly, possibly even decide one of these two, uh, three grand finals? Pretty uh, a big move to play, I think, in the first, <laughs> first four or five ends, especially um, for some juniors. But hey, a bit, bit of a psychological yeah. move, you never know. Yeah, wouldn't mind seeing it. Puff the chest out and say, we're here to play. <laughs> As Cody's line spot on there, just a little bit short, but won't need much of a correction for his next bowl. The skip's happy with this one from Evie. Looks like it's tracking well. It's gonna come inside nicely there, the line. Look at that. Great to hear the crowd reactions as well. Nice little crowd building. Again, if you're looking for something to do, make sure you get down here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, best of the best going at it here, the SA Super League Grand Finals. Like I said earlier, it's been, it's been a, a different Super League season, that's for sure. But it's a credit to everyone involved to get to this point. And why not get out here and enjoy the, uh, yeah, sure. yeah. the finishing off of an outstanding season. Letting there just... Just in on Exton's bowl. Again, the line. It's, it's all just straight up and down the middle here from these two so far. Looks oh, so what's she done here? Again, right on the centre line. Just left that one a little bit short. They're going shot for shot at the moment, these two. This one's got a bit of weight to it. So depending on the line, we'll see if it might be able to cause a bit of trouble here. Oh, here we go, Joe. Ooh. I like that, though. I like Aggressive, it. yep. The Rogue's still holding one at the moment. But nothing behind the kitty. Evie looks like she's going to try and rectify that early. Yep, she's going to just throw it around the back a little bit. Only narrowly behind. But it is behind. As we continue to work our way through here, the under-21s grand final, if you're just joining us, the Mallee Pirates uh, with Cameron Hill, Cody Letton, Cam the Skip there, taking on the Western Rogues, Harrison Gita Johnson and Evie Exton into the seventh end here. Low scoring affair, these two sides. They're just trading shot for shot. The Pirates with a very narrow lead, but still a long way to go in this one. Cameron Hill. A wise head on young shoulders there. Coming on the forehand side again. Looking, you would have to think to... Oh, if he can fit that gap, it might not be too bad. Not a bad effort there. Again, as you've said, just having a crack, which is awesome to see. That's it, mate. Absolutely fearless, I think. Um, 
we often see with the with the juniors. Um, don't mind getting in and look. If it goes bad, it goes bad. But yeah, generally it's they're not too fussed about it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, to be young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gita Johnson there. Not a bad shot. Still opting for the forehand here. I don't mind it, but I think you've probably more options on the backhand. See what happens. What do you think? If he can just almost pull, just push that jack through a little bit. It Oh, it's tracking okay, but it's just going to find the gap again. He's had an unfortunate run with a couple of those tonight. Don't mind the weight again, Joe. He, he's probably just... Just fell into the ditch there, so that might have been a little bit quick, but I, I do like it seeing him trying to get through the head and change the change the angles, change something up, push um, the rogue's bowl through. Yep. So get a job to there. Just a little bit of collection, but not a bad spot to be. Yeah. He's got it pretty well covered, depending on what Hill wants to do here. Yeah. What are you thinking? Oh, it makes it harder for Cameron here, but I think he's yeah, he's just trying to sit that bowl through now. The the jack's probably not as um, beneficial. With Harry's last one there, getting through and sitting nicely behind the jack. Oh, look! Looks like it's just going to be a bit narrow there and run into a bit of traffic, unfortunately. Oh. oh, not a bad effort. The two skips just going shot for shot, having a good crack here. That's what we came for, mate. This is actually exactly what we want to see. This is why you were lobbying so hard all week to Maddie. <laughs> Make sure we get the under 21s on the TV rink, he says. Mate, you got to. And they're living up to the expectations, these talented sure youngsters. It's awesome to see what can Gaeta Johnson do here. Holding one at the moment for his side, which would level up the score. Can he conjure something up and maybe make it multiple shots? He looks interested, mate. He's on the trot, <laughs> chasing it down. Oh, I'll okay. tell you what, he's got good reason to be interested. Yeah, what an awesome shot there from... Harrison Gita Johnson skipping the rogues there. Looks like it's going to be two. So we see a replay here. Yep, it's going to be two, two shots to the two. rogues there. Yeah, awesome from Harry Gita Johnson as he makes his way back down the other end. So the rogues, they take a one shot lead after seven. 18 ends, the under 21s as well, I believe. Correct I, me if I'm yes, wrong on that one. I believe it is 18 ends, mate. Nice roll of the jack there from A.V. All the, uh, all the Riverland crew on the left of your screen there, chatting to uh, David Muggleton, the Space Quake guru. Big thank you to the Space Quake crew for all their work all season. They've been outstanding, done a great job, brought this action to you wherever you've been able to watch from. And of course, getting it on Channel 44 as well, which we do appreciate a lot. Great. Great group of people to work with. Cody just taking a moment. Not too far away again, Joe. He looks looks pretty good here. If anything to be behind it, it's not a bad start. Again, the line really not too bad as well. Evie sticking with that forehand side. It looks like it's okay. Not a bad shot there. Still room for letting it come in though. I think, yeah, interesting there, Joe. She has gone back to the forehand, which was that slightly wider side. Um, dabbled in the backhand on the tighter, tighter side of the rink and yeah, must not have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> back out on the, on the wider hand. Let will just be hoping for a bit of a deflection there. Probably not as much as he would have liked, but again, the line, spot on. Skips a fan of this one. And again, he's got good reason to be. See if it takes a jack with it. Oh, it's giving it a bit of a nudge. It's rolled through, but a good effort there. Tell you what, though, if uh, if Letton can get a bit of the jack here and push it through, he's got those two waiting for it out the back. He could. He's not too far away again, Joe. He could turn a shot down into 
three shots up possibly. It's turning for him here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. If he got that in the gut, wow. <laughs> Imagine the jack sitting in between those three. <laughs> Shows just how fickle the game of bowls can be. Interested to see what Harry plays here. Look, I, I would suggest the Pirates skipper Cam Cameron Hill. Yep. Uh, will be down on the backhand trying to draw that toucher. Push, so push that through. Would where like Harry to be just trying to push it the other way pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I think, and he's he's playing the. I think he's played the right hand down on the forehand, try to counteract. Um, he draws oh, the touch. Oh, it's tracking there. well. Look at that for a shot. That's awesome. Yeah. And they've gone, and they've got three shots up. Absolutely. I think, yeah, good choice there from Harry. He either yeah, draws the touch like that, or and he misses wide, and he lands right in that pack of orange yep. bowls. So that's what we like to see. With Cameron Hill again, not too far away, but... Uh, just just throw it out a little bit wide. But again, it, yeah, it just shows the ex being able to execute some of these shots on this sort of stage. It just shows the class of uh, class of young talent that we've got here in South Australia bowls. Harry and it's great to see these kids getting a crack as well. He's just he's slotted a fourth one in. Awesome bowls. One on the forehead, one on the backhand. <laughs> Too easy. Just showing off a little bit almost. What can Hill do? Looks like he's corrected his line here. Yeah, wow, this is going to go close. Oh, if it, it, he's done well there. Wow, three or maybe even four <laughs> down to, to one up. That's awesome. <laughs> What's the pressure on Harry now? He doesn't have too much behind, but does look like if he can push that ball through he makes it well he makes two sits around for three just uh, just great to see these kids getting a crack of course we mentioned earlier in the season there's also a lot of great under 21 talent playing in the league and reserves competition that would have almost taken the spots of these guys in the under 21 so everyone's getting a crack at it which is just fantastic to see and we're getting treated to a ripper game. One shot in it as we come back down on our eighth, back towards the club rooms here at the Salisbury. It's gone with weight here. Needs to be on target, but just can't quite find it. I like that. I think he's just backed himself in to go, no, nope. I put but, that blue bowl in the ditch, I make two, um, and you put the pressure back on. Because if he, put, if he puts that blue bowl back in the ditch, they go back to being four up in the end. Yeah, yeah, oh, absolutely. What can Hill do? Can he almost draw in a second without conceding the shot they've got at the moment? Pretty close again. Oh, it looks like it's going to turn in. Oh, oh. oh classy that stuff there from Cameron Hill. Is clinical. Absolutely and it's going to be clinical. two up for the Pirates there. Joe, the you expect to see those bowls in the, in the league games, mate, and you see them in the under-21s, and it's absolutely astonishing. It's just awesome. You just can't help but smile watching these kids <laughs> play at this level. So the Pirates, they hold a slender one-shot lead, 6-5 after eight ends. So as you can tell, there hasn't been much in it in any of these ends. Letting... Rolling the jack down there, nice wide shot with the sun setting over the background. We're probably due for that train to come through at some stage. <laughs> see the great setup we've got here all the sponsor signage as well another big shout out to city of salisbury sports center at west end great supporters of the sa super league and bowls here in south australia much love to those guys wouldn't be able to put this awesome competition together like we do without them letting just leaving that one short but again as we've seen he's he's been good at correcting we'll see if he can do it here Plenty of food here, folks. Plenty of drinks. Great seating. Great vantage points all around the TV rink. Hoping for a nice big crowd as we head in towards the league grand final later this evening between the Rogues and the Chargers. We'll have the pairs game here on the TV rink. Ash close, Carl Chappelle. No Craig Mills on the uh, getting camera time this week, but Mark Haynes will love it. <laughs> and Bradley well, Peck as well. A little bit stooged after last week, mate. He was due to go on the <laughs> on the TV rink, and uh, no, he got kicked off. And Cody Letton, as expected, just adjusted perfectly. Second bowl. Yeah, he wasn't happy last week, of course, as we mentioned <laughs> earlier. The uh, 
the Chargers, they, they shuffled their uh, lineup around for the prelim final. It worked for them in the end. But we saw a lot of Craig Mills and a lot of Bailey Rafferty, which was great to see. They both bowled incredibly well last week. Will both be big players in tonight's decider. Letting, just hoping to match his, uh, match his second one there or even push a little bit behind. It's tracking awesome. fantastically again. Yeah. Again, he doesn't give much away body language wise, just goes about his business. <laughs> All the talent is there. What can Evie Exton do to reply? Don't mind this actually, Joe. So I, yep. I, I was happy as for me, as long as she reached, I was happy. So yep. um, another bold pass to Jack and it gives Harry a, a lot of a lot more options now that he walks back to the to the mat to play his bowls. The T is covered for the rogues. But the Chargers, they hold two shots here in the ninth end. Still a long way to travel in this one. Three more blokes in the back in the back of that shot there that will have a big impact on the big game later this evening for the Rogues. Great to see them all out here watching their, watching their young teammates, talking to Ashley Close during the week. She said it's been a great season for them, great atmosphere around, around them, really positive and happy. So they'd be love to snag a premiership or two tonight. He will just find the gap there, but again, not a bad spot to be. What can Gita Johnson do here? We've seen some special stuff from him tonight, but he's going to need some of his best action here. Again, just throwing it out wide, similar to Exton. Giving it plenty of width, but... Just not quite adjusting just yet. As the Pirates boys just communicating with each other there. Great shots. Oh, he's watching it. Wasn't quite sure on this one. He's also given it a bit of width like his fellow skip last time. If he can get this around the back, though, like it's going to, he'd be more than happy with that one, I reckon. He'll say yeah. we're holding to. Let's see if we ah. can get something around there. Very good bowl there, Joe. There was a lot of danger there. Could have been uh, three or four down if he yeah, didn't opt for that bowl back there. So I'd like to see that. Get it, jo to. get it, Johnson. The line looks outstanding, but just the wait again. Pirates holding two. What do you think? What's uh, what's Cameron looking to do here? They've got the two shots. Is it just put another one behind? Yeah, I think you probably. I, I think ideally you you turn this the wide wider orange one that the second would. Uh, yeah. You know, you get two or three rolls out of that, and you stick around. Um, but this this will work as well. I think. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> awesome. That makes it hard for Harry now. I think he needs to change hands. No, not going to change hands, but. I think if he can draw a second wood here, um, he's played a good bowl. I think you're happy with one down or or even two down. Yep. But again, it looks like it's just going to be short though, unfortunately. So it's going to be three with a measure for the fourth, I reckon, even for the for the Pirates. Yep. Um, Evie's four four shots for the Pirates. Well, that's just blown the contest wide open there. Yeah? I think it has as well, mate, because they've. It looks like they've played their power play. Which oh, okay. We didn't, we didn't actually. <laughs> oh yeah, we, we yeah, we've uh, we've on. missed that. Yeah, well, that power play has blown it wide open then, because the. Uh, it's just gone out to fourteen to five. We do apologise there yeah, for missing that. Oh, this contest has just got us so engrossed that we uh, <laughs> didn't see the little shining light at the back, but. <laughs> if you didn't hear that folks the uh, northern knights leading the way by five shots over the spartans in the reserves final at the moment as Letton just sends his first one along there quite a long end 
Not sure if the Rogues might have played their power play here. There was a bit of communication between yeah. the... Uh, we did see um, Harry there just before giving a few gave the, uh, finger swells. So it did look like they were going to play it. Um, power play time again. And it does look like their light is on, but it's on a weird angle for us, so we can't <laughs> tell. <laughs> As you see in the background there. Of course, for those new to the SA Super League, power plays or super ends, your shots do get doubled if you are successful on your power play end. And as we saw with the, ch uh, the Pirates just then, as Cody Latton just comes through, he's even given a bit of a smile there. He's <laughs> up and about now after that big eight. Your shots do get doubled if it is your power play and you are successful. So can blow a contest wide open as we've seen after a low scoring start. They've blown it out to a nine shot lead after nine ends. Coming back on the 10th as Exxon comes up with a good, good shot there. Good second shot after Letton took the jack as we see an awesome replay. Got a change of hands here as well. I think first time for Cody throwing out on the wider hand. So we'll see how this goes for him. Good chance. Just to have a bit of a look here. Looks like it's tracking yeah, okay. I was say, Joe, this is pretty close. <laughs> For his first one out on that wider <laughs> hand. Wow. Perfect adjustments there. Great to hear the support as well. It's what the SA Super League's all about. The community, the family. Everyone, everyone in the bowls. Bowls South Australia here. If this EV stays up, I, I oh. actually like it. If it's, it's coming around yeah. nicely there. That's a good effort at the end. There'll still be two shots down, but... A good position to be as Cameron just says, come on, Cody, get up and about for me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a bit of body language here as he does. Good smiles there from the two young Pirates players. All four of these players just doing an awesome job under the bright lights here on the main rink. That's it, mate. Yeah, they have actually, good point. They've <laughs> just turned the lights <laughs> yeah, off. <they> have. <laughs> so probably, yeah, it won't come into effect just yet, but as the sun is uh, yeah, getting pretty close to setting. Um, we'll see the lights come more into play. And I forgot to mention as well, with the super super ends or the power plays, you get two, each team gets two of those per game that they do have to play. As Hill just comes in there. Wow. So if they say they could go 16 ends without playing them at all, their last two have to be power plays and teams can play their power plays at the same time. So it's just wide open for possibilities. Evie just waiting to see what the skip can do here. He, as he takes a deep breath, just collecting himself. Can see how much he wants this one. Giving it plenty of width. But again, just a length a little bit short. Not a bad starting point though, the line's there. If he can adjust his weight. Cameron Hill looking to adjust off his first one as well. Oh, just a bit heavy that one, unfortunately. Just slotted through the gap and into the ditch. He was just in a dream world, he would have been hoping just to probably put that on the front of Exton's bow at the back there. He likes this one, the skip. He knows they need something. It's their turn for the power play. What's it going to do? Will it take the jack or it's just wow. going to find the gap? Oh. <laughs> On edge stuff here, folks. As we see another great replay. Just going to find its way through. Any sort of contact anywhere there would have really broken it wide open. But it's left it there. So Cameron Hill's going to have a chance for the oh, Pirates. Another Ooh. close one. They're, both of them are just, they are shadowing the jack there, just sneaking past every time. But unfortunately, just that bit too much weight. You can see what they're both trying to do. He knows it as well, young Cameron. How good is this as well, Joe? A couple of mates, hand each other each other's oh, bowl. Good sportsmanship there. Just getting through the niceties. Peter Johnson, he's got a, got a bit to work with here if he can just pull off something. 
He's dropped the head, unfortunately, because he's left it narrow and short. So that's going to be, you probably say, at least two, if not three, for the yeah. Pirates. We'll wait on the official word. Three shots three. up for the Pirates. So they take their lead out to 12 shots after 10 ends. So the Pirates, they lead the way 17-5 after 10, which is just after such a tight start, the last two ends, an eight and a three. They've just blown this contest wide open at the moment. As the shadow just sort of creeps over the green here, great crowd building up. Plenty of great lawn bowls action. Still left to come this evening, folks. If you're anywhere in the vicinity, make sure you get on down here to the Salisbury Bowling Club. It is definitely not too late. Cody looks like he's come up with a pretty solid start again here for the Pirates. The length, the weight is just spot on. They've got the momentum at the, at the moment, the two young Riverland boys. If they can really cash in here, they could almost, almost put this one to bed early. But we know these two Rogues players, we've seen it already this evening. They've got some special bowls in them. As Exton just covers the tee at the back there. He's watching this one, Letton. He's got the picture in picture, which is great to see. He's not sure. A <laughs> little bit of a chomp on the nails there, but <laughs> not a bad effort there. He's happy with that one. Evie coming on the forehand side. Giving this one a bit of width, we'll need it to turn in for her here. Just lost her radar a little bit these last couple of ends. Yeah, she has, Joe. That the first four or five, that all of them were on fire. Yep. Um, but yeah, just just off maybe the the eight maybe threw her a little bit. <laughs> It, it had dampened your confidence, I would have thought. And, of course, the two Riverland boys, whenever they have actually played together so far this season, are undefeated in the under-21s. So not a bad combination and no real surprises that they got the uh, got the call up for the Pirates this week. As Letton just sneaks past Exton's bowl there. She looks like she's corrected okay with this one. Looks pretty good from here. Awesome. It's just... Uh, Split through the middle, just carried on a little bit more than she would have been hoping for, but great correction there. Still looks like, yeah, one to the Pirates, which... One to the Pirates, but as we've seen, things can change very quickly in the last couple of bowls of an end. With these two skippers at the mat, that's just talent galore from these two. Here we go, Joe. Oh, oh, and behind as well. A little touch there would have been huge. Would have made it a, a nearly a three. Yeah, well, they've got those two orange ones out that side. Not a bad effort there from Cameron Hill, though. Harrison, Harry, yeah, not too far away. If he could come in there and sit on one of those two, it might be a chance. Not a bad effort there. Probably the Pirates just holding one, maybe but really not much in it at the moment. Hill's got the backhand side here. He's not quite sure what to make of this one. Looks like it's just going to be a little bit narrow, but if you can, if it, it'll hold up for That's straightened up nicely for him, actually. <laughs> that went very that just, straight. Uh, straightened down the line, sat on Letton's bowl, and they're doing well. Don't mind the weight from, from Harry there. Like, probably a little bit quick, but, you know, he sits that orange or the blue, and it's it's not an issue. So, I do like that. And the last end, or the last couple ends probably, falling a bit short when he didn't need to be. Um, 
if Cameron can draw a touch here. He says, my last back here wasn't too bad. I'll give it another <laughs> shot, but just just fell through. I mean, if he could have sat on Gator Johnson's bowl there, would have just about been three. What, what can young Harrison do? Watches this one intently as it rolls down the green through the beautiful sunshine. Again, he's just left it a little bit short, unfortunately. Wait, wait to see the number here for the two sides. I think they're going to give, that's going to be one shot at least to the Pirates. It's going to be two shots. Two shots up to the Pirates. So they go out 19 to five. After 11 ends, they've just turned this game wow. on its head the last three ends. <laughs> Outstanding bowling. Absolutely, yep. But I think the Pirates are just genuinely bowling better at the moment yep. as well, Joe. Um, you can't really fault many ends or, or many bowls that they've been playing which is fantastic to see and just the momentum as well they've capitalized on that couple more quick shout outs on the live stream Re renette de jager i want to say from south africa watching in sorry if i butchered your first name there roger webb watching from christchurch new zealand good to see our friends over the ditch tuning in some great love for harrison Gita johnson and his efforts more from the UK as well. Awesome to see. Just everywhere. The, the comments have gone through the roof so far, which is just awesome. More South Africa. Great to see everyone getting around tonight's grand final. And settle in, folks. Grab some popcorn. Grab a, grab a cuppa. Grab a beer. Whatever you need to do. Settle in. Not just any beer, Joe. Not just any beer. A West End a beer. West, oh, how good would a West End <laughs> be on a, on a Friday night coming into Christmas time? What better way to spend it? Get us up on the on your phone, your tablet, even Chromecast to your TV. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. And like we said, let us know where you're watching in from as well. We've got Cambodia again, Hong Kong. The live stream is just going absolutely global. Beachport, more from the UK. Do you reckon we've tipped last week's, mate? Oh, I reckon we'll be close. We've got Tasmania this week. Patrick Smith, uh, another one. Stan from Spain's back again. Beryl D in Newcastle, New South Wales. Apology for any of the local South Australian viewers that we are missing. <laughs> the excitement of the uh, interstate and overseas. As Evie's just, just giving that one a bit of width again. Continue to work through the commentators. Uh, the commentators, the comments are just through the roof, which is awesome. Continue to just hammer away at that, folks. Share the stream. We want to get the Super League Grand Finals just getting to as many people as we possibly get, can so they can watch our great game of bowls. Saw that laser focus there from Cody Letton from the Pirates on the map then. Wow. He's, he is on the ball. He's in the game. He's left this one short, but if any if his form is anything to go by, the next one could very well be a toucher. <laughs> we'll see if he lives up to his expectations. Well, oh, unfortunately, he's, Joe, we're going to Unfortunately, he's given his three. But they're all straight <laughs> down that middle line, though. Yeah, Just very good track. Got the T covered as well until right about now. Evie pulls that around the back there. So plenty of room for the two skips to work. Good spring in their step. Cody... Not sure about the uh, the support coming from his Riverland gallery over there. He's just saying, guys, we've still got a bit of work to do. Mum, stop. <laughs> Mum, Dad, all the family over there, great to see. Not too happy with that one, the Pirate Skipper, but it's not, not terrible, to be honest. Well, it's probably the shot, Joe. Yeah, well. Makes, gives him two shots. If he can just correct his weight, he'll be half a charge. And if they can draw a couple more shots over these next few ends, I hate to say it, but it's a long way back for the uh, for the Rogues. But Harrison Gita Johnson says, don't count us out yet. <laughs> We've oh. still got time. And he draws in a lovely shot. What's Cameron? What are you thinking from Cameron here? Shot-wise, um, what's he got to work with? Well, look, he's suggesting the backhand. I actually, I don't mind it. Um, you know, he can play it well. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a hard one. You <laughs> got options both hands. I probably would have rather seen him play the forehand. Yeah. Especially looking at that angle, but has opted for the backhand. A tad heavy, but 
again in on the tee there. So yeah. giving himself fantastic home. He needed one, needed one there. He can pl probably play this one with a bit more confidence. He's going to need that confidence, especially if Gator Johnson can come in with a second shot. He's just, he's trying to shoe it on. Just a little bit short there. We'll try and get you an update, of course, on the reserves. Oh, Grand final happening behind us at the end of this end. But we'll watch these two, two young skips. I think we're going to see, see what they can finish off with. See a bit of weight here by the looks of it, Joe. Here we go. Down hill. Just elegance down the middle there. Is it on target? What can he come up with? The pirate skip. Oh, took the uh, took one out. So we can confirm it is just the one shot for the Rogues at the moment. With Gita Johnson still one to bowl. Really Again. needs to capitalise here, Harry, for the Rogues. Just get them back in the game. Only a few ends left. So. Needs to draw the, at least get that a second shot in and just get some confidence happening. Awesome. It looks like it's going to be pretty good. And it is. Well played. Pressure was on. Needed two, to capitalise. So. Two, two shots to the Rogues there. They reduce the deficit. Back to the 12 shots. 19 7 in favour of the Pirates. Good, like would you have, said, just clutch under pressure. Yeah, would have liked to see a bit of a length change, Joe. With Evie was quick to pick the mat up and put it down where she's, well, I guess all the, all the ends they won early on. Um, is where the mat has gone and the jack going up towards the tee, which is when they were winning those ends at the start yeah. um, is what they were playing. But yeah, the Pirates are playing the same length and sort of taking the game away. So could we see another power play flip this game on its head? Might we see the, uh, the Rogues possibly get laid of their own? Who knows? Both teams still with one left to play. No sign of the second one yet for either. Still a little bit left to play though as we come up on the 13th end. Cody looking for his good start here. Has a good close look at it. The skip's happy with it. They're all happy with it and why not? On fire at the moment, isn't he? Oh, look wow. at him go. He's happy. The, uh, the man in the uh, red shirt in the background of some of the red jacket in the background of some of those shots there, Andrew Hill, Cameron's father, and a very well known figure here in South Australian bowls. Evie Yexter, though, she said, just whack the spotlight back on me for a second. I'm just <laughs> going to slot this one in nicely. Could she get something going over the next few ends and get the rogues back into this game? Wouldn't it be great to see just a few shots in it come the last. Last few ends down the stretch. Letton with a bit heavier this time. Now a bit of a shake of the head. He's not too happy with that one. Into the ditch. It looks like it's going to roll. Don't mind that though, Joe. Um, look, obviously the lie wasn't quite right, but don't mind seeing a bit of weight early on. Evie's just going to follow up nicely. With her third bowl there, she's just about got all the bases covered at the moment. Let looking to answer back, if we can adjust here. Or will the Rogues... Will the Rogues, with Harrison Gator Johnson heading towards the mat, be in control of this end again? He's just sent that one a little bit long, bit of a shake of the head. Well, But again, having a crack at it though. Yeah, look, tough gig for the Pirates here. Only one bowl on the green. Um, and the Rogues have one on and two behind. Cameron just saying, come on, Cody, keep your head up, buddy. Which is important in a game like this, in a, in a big game with young kids. It's easy to see the momentum and the, the body language drop off pretty quick. And how good to see as well, Joe. Um, good bit of leadership there from, from Cameron. Just yep. saying, come on, mate. It's going to be all good. Katie Johnson with a nice on there. Oh, not quite a second shot, but not a bad first bowl from him. Would like to see um, Harry's next one. Two or three feet through, looking to push that bowl, uh, push that orange one through or, or draw a toucher. Really try and change the game. Oh, can he just sit on that bowl there? Not a, not a bad result for the Pirates. 
So a touch of, touch it to the tee would be absolutely ideal for the Rogues right now. Oh, well, he's banking them up at the back. Yep. The Pirates definitely need one now past the past the head. Otherwise they will be in some trouble. Cameron Hill, he's not happy. He's dropped the head on that one. Interesting to see what what happens here though. He's probably gonna just touch on his first one there. Not a terrible deflection, but you're right. Harrison just just asking the question if I can push this through, where does that leave us? I know if he says skip if you can do that, we're a good chance to get back in this contest. Ooh. Looks interested. He looks very interested. He has not taken his eyes off this one. Well, He's talking to it. It looks all right. Oh, oh. Just not the direction he was hoping for wow. it to go, though, unfortunately. Joe, if he got that bait, would have been five <laughs> or four, maybe five. So That would have been an early contender for the yeah. shot of the night. I would have thought oh. the West End shot of the night. Absolutely. Would have brought the game right back into... Would have brought the crowd to its feet as well, I reckon. <laughs> A five. Yeah, exactly. Can Cameron Hill... Oh, if he can sit on that bowl there and almost steal it here for the Pirates, what can he do? What can wow. he do? Oh, it's... Oh, I want to say from our angle... Oh, I'd probably say the Rogues with the way that bowl's sitting. But not a bad effort from Hill after his side just... Never looked a chance to even get close to it in that <laughs> end. Just they were behind the eight ball the whole time. While they're measuring Joe, just a quick update from the Knights and Spartans in the reserves game. It looks like we've got 39-40 uh, overall with the Spartans leading the way by the looks of it. After 40 went 41 ends overall. So again, the reserves grand final. That's going to go down to the wire as well. So that that end, did end up just being the one shot to the Western Rogues. So that this the margin comes back to 11 shots. The Pirates still leading the way, 19 to eight though. as we head back towards the club rooms on the 14th end. Good start there by Evie. She's starting to sniff a bit of a comeback here for the Rogues. Let just throw that one out wide. A little bit off his radar to start this end. But has stayed in the field to play that one, so not bad. I don't think you'll be too disappointed with that one. Evie just overcorrecting a little bit, but... Still good bowls, mate. Anything, look, they're only, that one's only a metre away, so... Still a good bowl. See if Letton can make the adjustment straight away. Those bright orange balls. Rattling down, just looks like he's lost. Left this one a little bit short. Oh, Cameron Hill's just trying to will it on. But again, the line is there. See what he can do with his third one after we watch what X does here. It looks, looks yeah. like it's tracking okay again. The skipper's hoping for something good and she comes up with it. Ah. Pretty good. Bit of jack movement, that's what we like to see. I reckon she almost even turned away before that even hit the jack. The confidence <laughs> was outstanding. 
Let, just hoping to find himself in amongst those rogues bowls there. The line's okay, but he just needs it to hold up. It'll stay in the it'll stay on the on the rink though, so not a terrible result. Bit of work for the skip to do again. Yeah, another good chance for Harry to capitalise um, on a fairly open head and and holding shot. So uh, eleven shots, five ends to go, including this one. So there's still a bit of time. But they'll want to make it happen soon because you'd have to think one or two more good ends from the Pirates could just about seal the deal. But hey, we've still got a power play for each team left in, left up the sleeve. So who Ooh. knows what could happen. We've seen it eight so far tonight for those just joining us. The Pirates, after a slow start by both teams, just blew the contest out of the water with a four, which turned into an eight. Could we see another one of those later on tonight? What can Cameron Hill do here? We can push it through to Letton's bottle. They'll be doing well at the back there. He's giving it some whip. Not too far away, Joe. Looks like it's going to be okay if it just holds on there. And it looks like it will. And just sitting by. Look at that. Absolutely clutch. Cool. Like I said earlier, <laughs> a, a wise head on young shoulders right there. All of these four. Just the way they've handled these situations is just awesome. Harrison. Oh, it looked like it was tracking well, that one. Just just slowed down at the end. Again, you'd have to think Hill will be sticking on this backhand side, and if he can push that through, they could oh. almost turn one into three. Absolutely, mate. Little touch, it doesn't... Definitely doesn't help the uh, hurt the cause. Oh, good deflection off the uh, <laughs> off a couple of bottles there. Just pushes the pushes his last one back a bit, so they'll, they'll hold one, but the second shot's probably a measure. He's following this one again. Yeah, it doesn't look too far the young away. young rogue skip. It's going to turn. Will it turn enough? Oh, just not quite for him. And he couldn't quite shift that second one out the way. You'd have to think probably the one here for the Pirates at the moment. But even that would be good for them right now. Just to halt the momentum of the rogues. Cameron Hill. Just looks like he's throwing this one out a little bit too wide, unfortunately. Just would have been hoping for a nice little deflection there. What's the uh, what's the call going to be? It's definitely one to the Pirates. We just wait here. Did miss the uh, little finger signal just quickly, but I reckon it. I feel like it'll just be the one. Yep, just the one to the Pirates. So the Pirates extend their lead 20 to 8 after 14 ends. So, Joe, for the reserves, mate, we've just had a quick look around. Uh, we've got overall still very close. Knights 40 um, with the Spartans leading the way to 43. Ooh. So the individual rink scores. We've got the singles. The Knights are up by two shots, 22-20. The pairs, the Spartans are up 11-8. And in the triples, the Spartans are up 12-11. So I think they've got 11 ends to go overall, um, which is, yeah, proving to be a very, very close game. So we like, of course, and for those who don't know, the reserves is like the league with the overall score and the overall picture deciding the overall result. As Cody Lett comes up with a nice first bowl there. Harrison, he, li he likes this one. Joe, as we have a look around the ground as well, mate. We've got some good crowd building. Yep. Reserves this TV rink um, behind the players at the moment. Has a yeah, very solid crowd. The reserves not looking too bad either. <laughs> Evie just looking to correct on her first one here. Plenty of room if she can draw this forehand in. But just overcorrected that little bit too much. Oh, 
Oh, not a bad effort here from Letton. Giving it a bit more than his last two. Not a bad spot to be in. I think Cameron Hill will be happy to have at least something behind the jack early. She's not messing around tonight, Evie. She's <laughs> getting on that mat and she's letting them go. And she's done well there. Lovely shot. Behind. Not exactly sure what the shot is. I think she's just gone through a little bit there. Looks like, yeah, when Cameron was making his way, did put, I think, one, maybe, I think he sort of... He gave it a confident two. Confident two, he's yeah. Just trying to pump, he's getting his teammate pumped up. This is the point as well. These, these youngsters will know there's not long left in this contest. That's when you might see the... Uh, the nerve showing they might tighten up a little bit but knowing these four what we've seen so far tonight you just have to expect them to just keep putting on a class display Hill again just putting a bit of protection out the back there Harrison just leaving that one short unfortunately the line was great he just hasn't quite been able to find that consistency so far tonight. But we know he's got the talent in him. Still plenty of room to work with here for Cameron Hill if he can draw one in. Oh, he'll just want that to sneak through. It's good effort. I think he's, he's still he in account, so... Yep, probably say at least two, if not three, here for the, for the Pirates at the moment. Just gone a bit wide here, Harrison. Just need to take a deep breath for young fella. We know how good he can be. As we saw that one, just tucked in there nicely. Hill. A couple of shots here. Could he just about seal the deal for the Pirates? Not a bad effort there. Looks like it's going to roll on a little bit though, unfortunately. But again, they've got Almost got the tee covered, or they've got a bit of protection out the back. Keita Johnson, love his energy. Love his enthusiasm. This isn't too far away, Joe. Love his talent, if he can get this one on target. Oh, a bit of a collection there. Oh, oh. Ooh. Well, the back flop there might have helped. <laughs> the back, yep, there we go, the back flop. There we go. <laughs> you don't see it all the time, but it's just giving it a bit of the old whoopsie daisy. <laughs> And the Rogues, they get one shot. Back to 20 to nine, four ends left to play. Under 21 to say Super League Grand Final. Big shout out to our sponsors, City of Salisbury Sports Centre and West End for all of their support of the SA Super League. And just a big shout out to everyone who's helped get the competition up and running this year. And even with our little couple of weeks hiatus, getting it back out on the green and all the commitment from all the players and officials and everyone. It's been a great effort by all involved, and it's great to be here, the culmination of all that effort. As we see another Jack go in the ditch, yeah. mate. We said earlier, um, the rolling the Jack on this rink is proving difficult for everyone. So Yeah, to of see course, it. under 21s, prob they probably wouldn't have had a lot of time in the carpet when we've played here at Salisbury so far this season. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, I reckon it might have been round one or round two, I reckon we had um, one of the singles games Tyson Wilson and Stuart Forbes. So the what was that the Spartans and the Comets. I reckon we had about ten or twelve <laughs> jacks in the ditch that game. It was unbelievable. And they said after the game, they're like, "Mate, it was that hard <laughs> to keep the jack on." Like you guys might have thought we were being silly, but no, it was genuinely. They they said it was genuinely difficult. Shows just the skill of that. Shows the skill of these players at all levels. When you can get it right, it's far from an easy game. Excellent. Just leaving her first one a little bit long, as we see both league sides just uh, wandering around, getting ready to go. Craig Mills just getting in the zone, tossing the ball from hand to hand. Shane Warnesque. And Letton's, Letton's going to be the opposite here. He's going to leave it quite short, unfortunately. The line's there again, but just not the execution with the weight. Let's see if Exton can correct. Already it looks better out of the hand. They They've got four ends to turn something around here, the Rogues. 
Could this be the end where the comeback starts? Not a bad shot there. Of course, we'll have to keep an eye on those uh, power play lights as well, Isaac. I reckon one of those might be due to go off soon, if not both. Absolutely. Yeah, I actually would have liked to see the Rogues play one about now, uh, whether it was this end or the end before. Give themselves a nice big... You know, they... they you don't want to have to leave the comeback too late. Yeah, You'd exactly. rather get, get a handful of shots back now. And yeah. You know, you land a three or four this end or the last end and, and you're right back up. Yeah. Uh, you know, 15 to 20, only a couple shots behind with two or three ends to play. So we'll see what they do. Yeah, I'd rather see them play it early than, than play it late. Good consistency there from Exton. Cody Letton, his second one was a whole lot better. See what he can do with his third. Looks like it's pretty good from yeah, our spot here. Not too far away at all. Oh, will it take the jack or not? Doesn't matter, it's still going to slide in there. Oh, not, not quite the shot bowl, but again, it's behind. So it's in a good spot there for the Pirates. The two young fellas just having a bit of a chat. They know they're close here. One more successful end could almost do the job. Harrison Gator Johnson on the other hand. Can, can he help get the Rogues off to a dream start this evening? Could they make it to premierships? As we mentioned earlier, his father will be playing in the singles against Craig Mills. A little bit later this evening. Stay tuned, folks. There is just so much bowl still to come and it'll be top class action. Cameron Hill. Be wanting to push that jack through and almost turn two, uh, turn one shot down into two shots up. Can't quite pull it off, but he's giving it a good crack. Ooh, probably equal distance as Letton's other bowl off the back there. Oh, that's a great camera angle there, Isaac. Yeah, I still couldn't pick it though. <laughs> <laughs> that's too, still too close. The eyeballs, oh, it, it's tough. Fantastic effort there from Harry from the Rogues. Probably needed yeah, another couple of rolls and he would have been even better, but. All right. Well, Cody's called it one up, mate. So Ooh. there we go. I love the confidence. Whether he's just trying to pump this skip up a bit, who knows? The skip's not too confident on this one. <laughs> Gave it a bit of a grin, grin in the teeth. He's not sure and unfortunately, but he will have the last bowl of his end. Just the two ends left to play after this one. Can the Rogues almost snag a couple and get this comeback happening? It looks like they'll have the shot here. Classy bowl from Gita Johnson. Very good. Tough gig to bowl two bowls the exact same on any deck, and then you put them two bowls the exact same on this screen is is probably Ooh. one of the trickier ones that you can do. And Harry, there, absolute class. Cameron just over correcting that little bit, leaving it a bit narrow. So we'll see what the count is. The Rogues guys getting behind it with the clappers. That's what we like. It's going to be at least one shot to the Rogues. They're just not sure on that second one. Yep, one shot to the Rogues it is. The Pirates though, they still lead the way. 20 to 10, two ends left. Well, play a power play, play a power play, come on. <laughs> Do we need to get a power play chart going or something? Surely we're due soon. Still no action from the little flashlights though, so I reckon we might see both sides playing, playing their uh, power plays on the last end. As we're greeted by a very special guest, we might have to see if he wants to jump on the microphone at some stage. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Bowls to say, President Tim Dodds, great to have him here. So many familiar faces here, great crowd coming in. And we've still got... We've still got plenty of time left here tonight. The big league grand final still to come, the Chargers and the Rogues. But we've got to finish this one off first, though, folks. Let's see if we can uh, 
Oh, only one shot in the reserves grand final behind us there, Isaac. Wow. That is going down to the wire. Got a bit of a blowout a little bit there, Joe. So the Knights have, in the singles, 29-20. Yep. And it looks like they're finished as well. So. Even start here from the two leads. See if Evie can draw one in, give her side half a sniff. What can they do? Not a bad effort there. Yeah, Juicy's good. been good tonight. Cody letting the smooth move as the train comes through on cue. <laughs> This time every Friday night as you hear it rumble through the background. Oh. And log end here. Let, just looking to try and sneak it through. It's going to oh, Just needed it to collect something there, but unfortunately no contact. But it has stayed on the green though. That's it. Another one past the jack, which helps with, especially with the rogues. Bowl reasonably close and gives Cameron... Um, even more confidence to play a bit of weight through the head, which we've yep. seen all night. We know, um, doesn't we know really the, phase him. We know the Rogues need bulk shots and they need them soon. So having, having a couple on the back there probably isn't a bad result. Cody just shields his eye from the sun. He knows how close they are to, to winning it here. Just a little bit narrow there. A little bit heavy. Is it, Oh, it's just going to hang him out there. It's a tough gig at the moment, actually, Joe. If you, that sun is coming through <laughs> at a shocking angle. Oh, look at that. We've got the roving camera out in the green as well. David Muggleton, he's grabbed the camera and said, let's have a bit of fun. Outstanding angles there from Spacequake. Yes, that, that sun isn't in a great spot there. But I reckon these kids are in the zone. They know what they have to do. Cameron Hill just hanging around down there, a bit of a chat to Cody Letton and just surveying the scene. Can Gator Johnson get something in close and give his side a sniff? I mean, we know it is it is possible to get 12 shots back on a power play. I mean, it's it's a rare occasion, but True. the old the old mathematical uh, the calculators start coming out. Cameron just taking his time here. Full of poise, knows his sides in the box seat. His old man watching on. Very proud of his lad here, doing a great job. I'm sure all the Riverland, uh, they're glued to their, their phone screens, their <laughs> TV screens, their computer screens. Watching these two kids giving it a great crack tonight. He, he knows if he can take the jack, yeah. Oh, not quite. If he takes a jack there, he probably turns it into three shots, to be honest. Absolutely. As you said earlier, just the confidence to go for those sorts of shots by these kids <laughs> is just outstanding. Young and fearless. That's Gator Johnson. Not a bad effort here. If it just slows down, it looks like it will. Yeah, awesome well, correction. Looks like they probably hold two at the moment, the Rogues. Hill says... Let's have a bit of fun here and go with a bit of weight. Unfortunately, it looks like it's off target, though. He knows he, he's still got one left to play, though. If Harry can turn this orange one out, he actually makes a pretty decent number. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like he's playing it, but... Could yeah. we see a bit of a late scare here? A bit of intrigue late. He's just trying to shoo it back on the line. Again, not a bad result. Yeah, very he's, probably good turned it in, he's turned it into three. I know. Either way, the last end power plays. We're going to see some sort of bulk shots, hopefully. Cameron Hill. What are you thinking here? Just minimising the damage? Is that what, yeah, what all we can do? Yeah. Get something in close. He's going to come on the forehand side. Good composure. He's just played... His first two with some weight. Oh. Ooh. Probably turned that, yeah, probably back into three shots. I re Yep. Three shots for the Rogues. Oh, there we go, Joe. Oh, <laughs> Isaac, we're going down to the wire here, mate, as you expected. 
I think, I don't know if they realise, but I think both sides have to play their power plays here. So it looks like they're both. I reckon they, yeah, I reckon, not sure if the, yep, the Mali Pirates realise as well. Bang, bang. Bang, bang, seven shots in it. Oh, a four could turn into an eight and they could pull off an absolute upset here, the Rogues. Or the Pirates could just seal the deal. They're going almost ditch to ditch here. It's a tough gig. It's going to be a tough gig. Oh, So they the, need, what do they need, mate? They need... They the, need a four. The Rogues need a four to turn into an eight for a one-shot win. A win for the ages. Could they do it? Well, Harrison Keener-Johnson, he's got a bit of pep in his awesome, step. Awesome start from Evie. Oh, look at that. And the, the tension in the crowd. Everyone's up and about. All eyes are on this contest. Some of the best young bowlers in this state going head-to-head -head here, ladies and gentlemen. Where else would you rather be? See what the Pirates boys can do here. Always a tough gig being the one in the lead when you've got to hang on to it at the end <laughs> in a tough situation. But Cody Letton, oh, I tell you oh. what, he's come up with an outstanding bowl there. What is pressure? What oh, is what is, what is pressure, he says. It's not existent. <laughs> and you might be thinking the Rogues still hold the shot. Yes, they do. But the Pirates are behind the jack, though. Evie, she needs this one to just get going a little bit there. Not a bad effort again. Oh, the crowd are on their feet. Everyone is up and about. What an atmosphere. This is what the Super League's all about, folks. Cody knows if he can set the platform here, he'll make it a lot easier for his skip. And he's come up with a pretty solid effort there. Cameron's very happy. Yeah, two very good bowls from the Pirates lead there. Needs another one around it here, Joe. Anything past works as well, so. It's tracking pretty well. Tracking very well. Yeah, that works. What are you, Cody here, is he just trying to put another one behind, drawing a touch here? What are you thinking? Yeah, look, a touch, a touch makes it very, very hard. So I think he's just, you know, I think the Pirates just need as many bowls as they can around the, yep. in, that, in that area. Yep. Um, and let the Rogues try and play the tough ones. He's kept it on the grain. He's given it to Blake. Oh, yeah. it's just going to hang up there. Wow. All right. Well, that makes it even harder now for the Rogues. He can't just... Uh, he's got to play something with perfect weight. So we've got some on-green action. Now, look at that. What a camera angle. Oh. <laughs> How good is that? If that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will, folks. That is just outstanding. If that doesn't make you nervous as a player, <laughs> we thought it was pressure for these young kids <laughs> with just the what the four cameras at a fifth right in your face, and that's a whole new ball game. Harrison's going to come on the backhand side. Could they pull off something special here? Either way, they've given it a red hot crack. The Rogues, they've kept the Pirates boys on their toes. Oh, he's just left it a little bit short there, unfortunately. You look at that, three three rogue bowls in front of the jack and the, the Pirates have got three out of four behind. Cameron who knows if he can just just push that jack. Not too far away. If he can push that out a little bit, they'll be on here. Oh, oh, not a bad shot, but again, as you said, just getting them close is half the battle. They're one shot down here. The rogues do hold the shot, but they somehow need to conjure this into another three to make it a four. I like this from Harry. Obviously, he, he looks interested, but he has followed it down to the head, so he's going to have a good gauge of what's going on and what is required of him now. Well, I tell you what, we've said it a few times that Jack will only go back, it won't come forward. We did see a couple of weeks ago, it magically came forward. <laughs> yeah. If you could pull off that one in a billion shot, <laughs> they've got all those balls in front of the Jack. Cameron Hill. Can he achieve what he was hoping for here and push the jack oh, through oh, again? Oh. oh, and it just trickles into the ditch, that one. Well, this is a tough gig here for the Rogues. We've got a few.
You almost want to talk to your coach here and just be like, mate, like, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. With and that's the confidence it. That... Either way, it's a great learning experience for the players. Yeah, I'm not. Look, I'd, honestly, I don't really know how you make a four here. Yeah. Um, He's getting a bit of advice from some of the Josh Stadham and a few of the guys behind the behind the uh, green, but yeah. Oh, how that mist is just beyond me. You've, yeah, you've got to think. Unfortunately, sometimes it, it's just tough to make something like that happen. He's going to go with a weighted shot here. What can he conjure up here? The rogue skipper. Oh, he's, he's able to take one of the Pirates' bowls out there, but you'd have to think they probably just hold the one here, the Rogues. Cameron Hill says, oh, I'm not going to bowl my last one. And we will take the W. Thank you very much. There we go. Better safe than sorry. I think we'll, I think we'll comfortably say one shot to the Rogues there, which turns into two, which sees the final margin turn in 20 to 15, I reckon. We'll wait for confirmation on the scoreboard. The youngsters just not quite, didn't quite remember. They have to let the uh, scoreboard attendant know. Look at that. What a shot. There is Cody Letton with the big grin. The two Valley Pirates boys. What a huge game from those two boys. Uh, definitely, look, not to discredit the Rogues, but boy, those Pirates lads, the Riverland boys, bowled very, very well. Yep, I think they're going to go down and just double check here. Yes, they were outstanding, the uh, the Riverland boys. So if you didn't hear that, everyone who is at home, um, the reserves grand final very, very close as well. So I think it looks like the Spartans are up 60 to the Knights 56. So only four shots in it. Um, it looks like there's a uh, looks like there's three or four ends to go. And I reckon we've got confirmation that it was one shot that turned into two. I think uh, the people on the final scoreboard down the end there might have just got that one a little bit wrong. <laughs> there's a few shaking the heads from the boys down there. But yes, that was one, one for the Rogues that turned into two. So a five shot margin in the end. Great shaking of the heads. Great sportsmanship from all involved. Awesome to see. That's what the SA the... Super League is all about. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. What a grand final that was. What a spectacle. The SA Super League under-21s. The Mallee Pirates, they got the job done over the Western Rogues by five shot in the end. Uh, five shots. Just tense stuff. I've got Cameron Hill with me here, the Mallee Pirates skipper. Cameron, it was tense watching from the side, mate. How did it feel out there? 
Uh, yeah, it was getting close to the end. I thought we had a good lead. Uh, we were dropping ones and twos, so I thought we keep going that way, it'll be right. And of course, the, uh, the the double power play at the end there, both sides, you knew if the Rogues, they were still a chance. Yeah, uh, we both played our power plays at the same time. Well, I personally was waiting till they played their power play because yep. it'd make it easier for our team. Uh, but four on the last end is going to be hard and we stopped them doing that. And of course, speaking of power plays, the power play early on, that four that turned into an eight, geez, that must have felt good. Yeah, it was. Uh, that sort of, sort of started a good lead. Uh, I, could, I can't believe that that came off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of the power play and obviously your teammate Cody, he was just, he led the way beautifully for you tonight. He really set the tone for yourself. Yeah, especially at the end there, all the balls were behind making it really easy for me to make shots and keep them from scoring shots. And of course you had a great uh, great support crew as well here, half the Riverlands down here watching you boys, that must feel good. Yeah, it is. Uh, not as much as the Rogues, but it still felt amazing. Every time you put down a good bowl, a massive cheer, it feels amazing. And I'm sure there are plenty of Riverlanders watching back home tonight. Cameron, well done, buddy. That'll, uh, that'll do us for now, folks. We'll go back to another break. We'll come back with the medal presentations afterwards. Thank you.
I'm just going to ask all players from the reserves and under-21 competitions if you can make your way down to the presentation sort of area down here along the side would be fantastic, please. And any players, uh, parents or spectators that want to get a nice photo, come on up, there's plenty of room. Um, so just recapping the SA Super League Reserves Grand Final, the uh, South Eastern Spartans have had a win over the Northern Knights, so congratulations to the South Eastern Spartans on their win. A very good game, came right down to the wire and some good bowls from both teams. Um, so players, come down right down here or you'll have a long walk up to get your medal. <laughs> So all players, Knights and Spartans, if you can come come up towards the stage as well, please. Okay, okay, thank you, you ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, Hopefully you can all hear me down there okay. Give me a thumbs up from the clubhouse end. No dramas, thank you very much. Well, what a fantastic pair of matches we have just witnessed. A um, couple of cracking uh, games, definitely worthy of a grand final. So um, thank you to all the supporters and the players for the, the uh, spectacle they just put on. And uh, especially to the supporters, your support of all teams and all players was first class. So uh, round of applause for the, the display of lawn bowls that we've just seen in our first two grand finals for the evening. Uh, before we begin the presentations, we would again like to thank our major partners of the competition, City of Salisbury, Sports Centre and Lion for their fantastic support, which is always thoroughly appreciated. Um, the Mayor, Gillian uh, Aldridge, has departed, but we have some uh, likely replacements here, so I'd like to acknowledge Zoe Bettison, MP, and Councillor of City of Salisbury, Graham Reynolds, um, uh, being present to help with the uh, trophy and medal presentations, as well as Bowls SA President Tim Dodd. So we thank you for being involved and being here to witness the SA Super League tonight. 
And last, but of course not least, a big round of applause for our volunteers who have assisted with running the first lot of grand finals tonight. Our officials, Joan and Sandy, um, as well as the volunteers of the Salisbury Bowling Club have all done another fantastic job. So thank you to our volunteers. Okay, our first presentation for tonight is the present, uh, presentation of our runner-ups for the 2020 Under-21 SA Super League. And that, of course, is the Western Rogues. So well done to the Western Rogues on a great season. So we acknowledge the players, Amber Walker, Danielle Van Dyke, Faith Skulls, Evie Exton, and Harrison Gita Johnson. Um, so I'm not sure if any of the players or the coach want to come up and say a quick word on behalf of the team. First of all, thanks Salisbury for hosting us. You've done well. <laughs> well, well done to the Mallee Pirates. They played well. I thought they did us pretty well. Got off to a good start on the power play. They got an eight. Yeah. Well, not much I can say. Well done, Rogues. We got to the final. We did our best. Mm. Yeah. Good job, Harrison, and well done to the Western Rogues squad on, um, as you said, a successful year on getting to the final. And now moving on to our 2020 Under-21 SA Super League champions with a win 20 shots to 15 in the grand final, the Mallee Pirates. So we ask all squad members to come forward and collect a medal if they are in attendance. So in the squad for the uh, Mallee Pirates, we had Emily Evers. Benjamin Massey. Cameron Hill. And Cody Letton. And the coach of the team, John Morris. So, John, are you going to speak on behalf of your team or one of the players? I'll do that for you. Thank you, Matthew. Um, congratulations to the Western Rogues. You came from the um, elimination final to get to the grand final, and you made a, in the end, you made a game of it. So, uh, the uh, difference only being five shots in the, in the finish. So, well, well done to you. To my squad, it, it was, um, you were undefeated. For, for, for the season, all, all, all bar one game. So uh, I think um, on that record, you, uh, you, you deserve, richly deserve the, the result that you've, that you've achieved this afternoon. <coughs> well done and congratulations to you. You've fully deser well deserved it. Thank you, John. And yeah, Zoe, if you'd like to present the, uh, the trophy to the team. And we can get them to jump in front of the banner for a quick team photo. Well done to the Mallee Pirates. Well done to the Mallee Pirates again, your 2020 under 21 SA Super League champions. Thanks, guys. You can make your way centre left. And now moving on to the reserves competition. So, our first uh, presentation for the reserves competition is to the player to be adjudged best on green for the grand final. As, de as decided by our three independent panel members. So our 2020 SA Super League Reserves Grand Final Best on Green player is Carly Moffat from the Southeastern Spartans.
you like to say a word, Carly, or you're okay? All good? Um, so moving on to the team results. So sorry. On to the team results. So our uh, presentation for the runner-ups of the 2020 SA Super League Reserves Competition. Another outstanding year. We acknowledge the Northern Knights. So again, we acknowledge the players that have represented the Reserves Competition throughout the year, being Bernie Ward, Laney McGorman, Lachlan Bowman, Corey Jackson, Sue Kultis, Chris Krasakis, Corinne Lynch, Isaac Jessa, and Simon Tutor. So well done to all the players on a successful season. Uh, Coach Jeff, or one of your players, do you want to come say a word? Uh, thank you, Matthew. Uh, first of all, congratulations to the Spartans. Uh, you've had a very good season in the reserves and uh, certainly deserve your win. Uh, so congratulations to your whole team. Uh, just quickly, I'd like to thank uh, Bowles SA and Matthew and your team. You've done an outstanding job to put this tournament together. It's been a fantastic, uh, fantastic event yet again. And uh, I'm looking forward to perhaps again uh, next year. And finally, just wish the two finalists in the, uh, in the league all the very best for tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff, and well done again to the Northern Knights on a successful season. And moving on to our 2020 SA Super League Reserves Champions with a scoreline of 67 to 56. The champion team for 2020 is the Southeastern Spartans. So we asked the following members of the squad uh, who represented the reserves throughout the year to come forward if you are in attendance. Harry Burgess, Jody Cotts, James Bodnar, Ben Fidock, Adam Black, Carly Moffat, Jackie Field, James Mader, David O'Shaughnessy, and Kevin Stock. And the coach of the team, Ken Holtham. And we'll ask Coach Ken, or would you like to dob in one of your players to say a few words? I'm happy to speak. Um, thank you, Salisbury, for organising this tournament. It's been excellent uh, as usual. Thank you to Bowles and Say, Matthew, and all his helpers. Uh, everything's run pretty smoothly. Uh, of course, thank you to my squad, this squad, and the senior squad, and the juniors. Uh, we've been pretty competitive in this group, so we're very pleased with our selections and. and the way people have applied themselves. Uh, that game come down to a few key bowls at the right time, so a great uh, uh, tournament, great competition, uh, and obviously we look forward to being back next year. Well done, everyone. Thank you, Ken, and I'll ask Zoe to present the winning trophy to Ken and his team for an official photo. Congratulations again, the Southeastern Spartans.